Everybody has different reasons for why they take martial arts. Get in shape, you know, the camaraderie. But really a lot of it is for self-defense purposes. And so that's why I'm happy to put on these, these one hour free seminars for groups like Mount Sac, who again came to visit us this year. And the experience was, was really great. We had a great session. I feel pretty confident that they walked away with a little bit more confidence. So one of the things we practice in here is always being a base. It's part of our warm-ups. Having seen a dangerous position and how to get out of it. Not on top. So the reason why I wanted to bring the students to the self-defense class was because in my criminology class we often discuss victims and some of the more graphic details of how they became victims, especially with the violent crimes. If you get thrown on your back on this like concrete, right, or the pavement, and you fall, you need to absorb some of that fall so you don't get hurt. It places them in a position where they feel very vulnerable um, and very apprehensive about their world. And so I like to introduce them to something that would empower them and make them feel like they can control a situation if it did happen. So if I just knocked you down, how would you get up? If I was in front of you and I was threatening you, how would you get up? Um, after seeing the techniques and for the students after being in the class, I see that a lot of them report that they feel more confident. Hey, I'm always looking. If you get next to me, right, that's what I said. Boom! I'm not so scared of walking to the car. They're more alert of what to look for. Um, I feel that the training is very realistic, even in the small um, techniques simply like removing the hand away. I think it, for the girls, it gives them a sense of, now I know what to do just in case. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna imagine, we just got knocked down, right? We need to get up without exposing ourselves, ourselves to like a punch, a kick, or like somebody pulling us, right? I think it, it does pose very realistic situations. All right, I tried the first one. The person puts their leg up. I'm going to try to bring them back every single semester. 